All right, guys, we back. I don't know how long this video is going. It seems like it's going for a little while, but uh, I think y'all going to get y'all viewing um, um, enjoyment up out of it. You definitely going to get your value. You're going to know exactly how we're doing this today, especially for the newbies. I'm really doing this for the newbies, the crafters, the people that want to know how do you do this stuff. Uh, Cotton Subs is doing better and better and better. We're picking up new people. We're always growing. We got people requesting us in Canada, in Europe, in the Bahamas, in Africa. Right now, we're still local, guys, but give us a little bit of time. And the more we get people requesting us in these areas, we're going to try to put something in place that we can service those people. So stay tuned on that part there. Uh, but I'm going to do this white shirt first. White shirt first. Bring it over. So uh, close to the temperature it needs to be. I'm going to pop out every shirt. I do not have a lint roller. Never had one. It's never been an issue. I probably said that in another video. Uh, so laying the shirt down. You did. I'm gonna press that sucker for 10 seconds. That's what I like doing on 10 seconds, just to get the fibers down, get it flat, get it ready, get the moisture out. All right. It is ready to receive. And I believe the front one is the one that says, I don't know if you guys can see, happy third birthday, Papa. All right, little man named Papa. All right, so we're going to slap him on the front. You did. They gonna love these. They don't know what they feeling like. This is a repeat customer customer of mine, but she has never um, experienced cotton subs. And actually, I don't even need to go with the Teflon because I'm going straight to the shirt. So to be honest with you, I think I'm good. The cotton sub is actually not touching anything. You know what? I'm gonna put it on there anyway, just for good measure. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the black ones though, because those are gonna be uh, the black ones, the actual sublimation transfer goes outside of the transfer, uh, the cotton sub. So I might not even use paper on that. I, I'm almost 100% that I'm not going to use paper on the black shirts or the Teflon sheet, but I'm using it on here just because the cut is right to the edge. And I think if I peel it up and the adhesive is sticking out of the sides, it might actually come up. So going with the Teflon it's non-stick we gonna be Gucci time all right it's only on 360 but I know that's gonna be good we gonna hit that for 60 seconds and come back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, I think I'm going to teach this uh, technique that's on this sweatshirt probably in a, a pop-up class or either in one of the Photoshop classes. People like this design. It was really simple. Uh, it's a little clip masking going on, a little drop shadow, a little cropping. Uh, what else did I do? Probably double the image or something like that, but it's really simple. But it looked nice. I mean, so sometimes less is best. So you just got to learn how to do things that are not so difficult, but it's still the finished product looks like quality. And this is a great example of that. All right. So. Yup, yeah, it was good that I put that on there. Look like a little ink did come out on the sides. That joker look ready. Let me see. Ooh wee. Jesus. Dude, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave that on. Man, I done forgot I gotta do the back on this, but God Dizzy. Let me show y'all. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that. Can y'all see this shirt? I don't know where the light is at. If I done put it past the light, y'all. Look at the colors on that Joker, man. Cotton sub for the W, bro. Let me turn that. Look at that. Man, y'all already know the joint, the joint, the joint. I'm gonna hit it one more time though, cause uh, not that it needed. I mean, it's good to go, but 
Jesus. All right. Hold on for one second. I'm going to hit that one more again with another piece of paper. But that was good, though. I like that press. I like everything about that. Matter of fact, no, I'm not going to hit it again. I'm going to put this shirt down here, and I'm going to hit the other side. That would make more sense for me since I got to do the other side. We're going to let that marinate down there. Oh, the other one is over here. Don't hit that for 60 seconds. And then... Fill it up and let y'all see what that look like. Wish I would have left that other one on the front though, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so y'all see what it is, man. Good business, good business, good business. Now, I'm going to do a black shirt. I'm not going to take y'all through all of them because I got 14 more shirts to do. So, maybe I'll do the black one, the uh, the 2T. No, no, no. I'm not going to do the 2T because the 2T is actually the same process as this one. So, I want to show y'all what it looks like if I do a, a shirt that's the artwork is bigger than the actual cotton sub. So this one is almost done. Got about 30 more seconds. We're gonna put this over here. Get it out the way. All right, five, two, one. All right. Definitely, definitely, definitely did it thizzle. My nizzle, the jizzle, dizzle, nice and hot. Woo! Jesus. Jesus, the capital. G E E. Jesus. Jesus. Now, Guys, if it comes up a little bit, don't trip. Don't, oh, it ain't sticking, it ain't sticking. This is for the newbies. The people that already been doing this, y'all already know. If it come up a little bit, man, just pat that down, man. Don't make it a big deal. Don't make it a problem. Find a solution. Look for a solution before you beat up a problem. You know what I'm saying? Just tap it down. It's going to lay down, guys. It's adhesive. So, you know, when you're peeling it right up and it's hot, you might get it to come up because it ain't bonded with the shirt yet. But if you tap it down, guess what it's going to do? It's going to bond with your shirt and you're going to be good to go. Now, on this side, a little bit of the ink came up because I had to press the back. But it's still beautiful, though. We ain't even worried about it. Stare beautiful. Stare beautiful. In the back, nice and beautiful. So... This is what it looks like on a white shirt. Obviously, the color's going to pop extra, extra hard because it's a white base going, um, you know, the white base is going to make it pop a whole lot. But cotton subs is favorable on, uh, cotton subs is favorable on black as well. So I'm going to do this one real quick and we're going to get up out of here. Well, y'all going to get up out of here. I still got shirts to do. I got a Photoshop class tonight as well. So we're going to knock this out real quick just so i can show y'all what a process on the black one look like with a cotton sub that's smaller or not cut not contour cut into a box design or anything else just a cotton sub placed on top of a shirt pressed all right we're gonna get that 10 seconds get the moisture and the wrinkles out and the fibers to lay down to get it prepared that white one crazy man it looked like a straight up sublimation shirt and it feels so sexy oh jesus i don't want way over 10 seconds talking to y'all don't worry about it though all right so i am going to Grab a piece of artwork. You know what? I might chop a little bit of this off. Let me see. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. Y'all can't even pay attention. Don't worry about it, man. Over here handling something right there. All 
All right, I'm gonna chop a little bit of the top of this one off because it's unnecessary, to be honest with you, to have so much on there. Because the cotton sub is a uh, cotton sub is not that big compared to the actual transfer. We're not gonna worry about it much because the black is just going to bleed out to the sides. So doing this method, so when I did the method of actually tacking it down, as I told you, the smooth side actually touched the artwork so that the sparkly side can go onto the garment. When you're doing it this way, the smooth side is going to face up so it can actually receive the artwork. So sparkly side, the rough side goes down onto the shirt. Spread it out. This is when you're gonna get the real 10.25 by the 15, um, the 15, 0.35 when you actually put it on the shirt is laying down it's flat um yeah that's when you're going to get the real because you're laying it down and then you're going to be able to spread it out but when you're putting it onto a shirt it might be closer to a 10 by 15.25 or something like that so i'm taking a whole artwork guys i just got that laid on the shirt Scoot it over just a little bit. Best thing about doing this one as well for the newbies, not for the veterans. I know y'all know already. One of the good things about cotton suds is when you put it onto a shirt, it don't matter about the heat. It's not going to stick on the shirt. If I wanted to peel this up, put another shirt down, change the artwork over it, it can sit there for five minutes and not be a problem. But when you're using transfer paper, transfer paper is a completely different thing. You're using transfer paper. It may sit there by itself for about two, three seconds and it start rolling up. You ain't got that problem with the cotton sub. So, boom. Taking the artwork, slapping it on top. I just want to make sure that everything is covered. Looks like it is to me. We ain't gonna have too many problems with this, man, because this is going outside of the artwork. Boom. Looks good to me all around. And like I say, using this technique, there is no reason to, um, there's no reason to put any Teflon or anything on top because the paper is bigger than the cotton sub. So the cotton sub would not touch the platen. And uh, that's unnecessary for this technique, not for anything else. And don't put no craft paper on top. I don't know if that's gonna work. Just if your sublimation paper is bigger than your material, you good. And using a black shirt. Gotta put that on top. Alright, so we're gonna let that go for a minute. Let me check this. Alright, guys. It's done. I'm gonna let it chill for a second just to let it kind of bun and get up in there. Um, but this is the last one that I'm gonna show y'all before I either knock out the other ones or get prepared for this class tonight so peeling that right up the good thing about a black shirt and the paper being bigger is that you ain't got to worry about the ends really coming up much man look at that this shit is banana so man look i'm gonna show you real quick i know y'all can see but i'm gonna show you up close what this white one look like because people be thinking man if it's on another color it ain't the white one popping. I cannot deny it. This is it on the 2T. Beautiful. Simply, absolutely beautiful. Did you think I'm going to say something bad about the black one or something? It looked equally as beautiful. Like, check out the black one. Man, y'all need to stop playing, bro. This is cotton subs on a black shirt. You know what? Hold on. People be thinking you trying to come slick. You trying to fast talk them. You don't want to side by side, black and white. I don't know where y'all looking at. If y'all can see all of that black cotton sub, white cotton sub. This is a 2T. This is a, this is a, a youth large. 
I cut this one down. It wasn't even in half. I cut it down. I don't know. Two T was like five and a half by nine. This is the regular size of a cotton sub. 10.25 by 15.35. That is it, guys. I'm out of here. I appreciate you guys checking in. All the newbies, I hope you guys learned something today. The veterans, you guys already know what it is. I appreciate you guys supporting Cotton Suds. I appreciate you guys being in Cap University. For everybody that's watching this video that has not took the opportunity to join a group, make sure you do that. We do have links under the video, so just go down, hit the little arrow. I believe it's on. Don't. I believe it's on this side. Don't judge me if it's on this side, but it's down there. You hit the arrow. It's got the links down there for cotton subs. Probably this shirt. If this shirt is on the website, it's going to be links to that if you want to purchase that. Uh, it's going to be links to the group. It's going to be links to the cash app. It's going to be links everywhere, man. So just go down there and hit some of them links and get familiar with what we're doing. And go back and watch some of these cotton sub videos too. I got 13 other cotton sub videos before this one. So it's tons of value in those as well, guys. So uh, that is it for me. Everybody, if you're interested in learning Photoshop classes as well, we got those going on for our group members as well. I forgot to throw that in there. Maybe I did do that in the beginning, but I'm going to revert it. We're going to hit it again. So if you're interested in learning how to do Photoshop, you want to know how to do stuff like this, you want to know how to design all over shirts, banners, business cards, you want to know how to do 3D text, you just want to know what all them intimidating buttons do in Photoshop. These classes are designed for beginners, but we welcome all levels. If you're intermediate, if you're advanced, you just want to come in and get some refreshing courses, you can do that. And we record those actual uh classes as well and we make those recordings available at absolutely no extra fee so if you need to have some continuing education you need to rehash that you can do that man it's all about value with us so that's it guys i'm gonna holler at you guys later okay make sure that you love and respect one another okay peace